Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video we shall learn the estimation of iron 2 using standard potassium permanganate solution. In this estimation process we will come across a redox titration which is basically used for determining the concentration of a given analyte by causing a redox reaction between the titrant and the analyte. Titrant is a solution whose concentration will be known which will be filled in the burette and analyte is a solution whose concentration has to be determined. It will be taken in the conical flask. Before we proceed further, let us look into the requirement for the estimation process. For this activity, the chemicals required are ammonium ferrous sulfate hexahydrate, also known as mohair salt, potassium permanganate, concentrated sulfuric acid, and dilute sulfuric acid. Preparation of mohair salt solution. We calculated amount of mohair salt approximately 2.4 gram per 100 ml of water. Pour the measured salt in a beaker and add 10 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid and 90 ml of water to the mixture with continuous stirring. For the preparation of potassium permanganate solution, pour approximately 0.9 gram of potassium permanganate salt in 100 ml of water in a beaker and stir it continuously till it dissolves. The glassware and apparatus required for this activity are burette, burette stand, pipette, funnel, conical flask, measuring cylinder, and beakers. Fill the burette with potassium permanganate solution up to the mark, read the upper meniscus and record the initial burette reading. Pipette out 25 ml of mohair salt, pour it in a conical flask and add one test tube full of dilute sulfuric acid. Heat the conical flask till it becomes unbearable to be touched. Place the conical flask beneath the burette and start pouring potassium permanganate solution dropwise by opening the nozzle of the burette. Stir it continuously while pouring the potassium permanganate solution to the mixture in a conical flask to ensure that the reaction is taking place accurately. Permanganate ions appears to be colorless when it comes in contact with the solution in the conical flask. But as the final drop is added, a faint pink color persists and this indicates the end point of the titration. Note the final reading from the burette and repeat the titration until you get two concordant readings. This is a reaction taking place during the titration process where manganese in the reactant is in plus 7 oxidation state whereas the manganese in the product is in plus 2 oxidation state which shows that the manganese ion has undergone reduction. Iron 2 plus in the reactant side is in plus 2 oxidation state whereas in the product side it's in plus 3 oxidation state which indicates that it has undergone oxidation. The end point is said to be reached that is the faint pink color persists only when all the iron get oxidized. I hope this video has been helpful to all the students performing redox titration. Thank you for watching.